Ronald Bianchi is a jazz musician. Though he spent most of his nights in bars, only recently, when he quit his day job as a school teacher, did his drinking get out of control. At first I thought I could just stop any time, but when I started seeing that I couldn't really, I just didn't know where to turn. For Ronald, it was the cravings, the nagging urge that kept him drinking. A visual cue, a smell, or even a memory can activate the desire. Overcoming cravings is often the key to overcoming addiction. Today, Ronald is here at the Providence, Rhode Island VA Medical Center. He's part of a study to see if this small pill called naltrexone may alleviate his desire for alcohol. Naltrexone can help people deal with some of, some of those cravings. Uh, it also helps people uh, if they do have a slip. Naltrexone seems to reduce the pleasure of drinking alcohol. When we drink, alcohol enters our bloodstream and is carried to the brain. It attaches to receptors in the opioid system that control pain and pleasure. Alcohol stimulates the pleasure system. That's why we like it so much. The drug may work by blocking the opioid receptors. The result, we do not get the same kick from alcohol. It breaks the addiction at the most basic level, pleasure. Ronald has been taking two pills a day for three months. Now, Trexone has been used to treat heroin addicts for 20 years. Just recently, it was approved by the FDA for alcoholism. But experts caution that these pills will never replace therapy. There's no such thing as a magic pill that'll, that'll entirely help. When people come into treatment with addiction, they have a whole host of problems. They have a whole host of psychosocial problems. Often they have family problems, marital problems, legal problems. And no pill's going to help with that. And people need counseling and uh, education to really help them put their lives back together.